Hey folks, this is Tom with uh, Linux for the Windows guy. I want to talk a little bit about my backup solution. Um, and we have been using a backup solution from a company called Unitrends. Um, and it also runs on top of a, a Linux box. You know, um, It's their own proprietary code running on a Linux box. Um, and it's a great solution. It's very polished. I started using them at an old job a long time ago when they weren't really polished yet. But they've really done a great job polishing that product. It's very nice. It's very point and click. It works very well. They have excellent top, top class support. Um, and it's great, except that it's very, very expensive. Um, and it just wasn't within our budget. At the time when we first got it, it was the only thing they could do everything we absolutely needed it to do. So we didn't have much of a choice. But we're talking just for what was pretty much an entry level box for us was uh, 20, 30 grand for the hardware. And then you got to replace that every three or four years because it'll, it'll lose support. They won't support it anymore. And um, three, four thousand dollars a year or something like that for the uh, support. Um, so it was pretty expensive. Um, but it worked very well. Um, although I have to say that the solution I designed does everything that box can do. And it does even more, and it does it very well, and it does it very simply. And um, while it's not free, the licenses for the Drive Snapshot program will cost you, you know, like 40 bucks for a workstation, 100 bucks for a server. Um, certainly, that's nowhere near the cost of um, the Unitrend solution, and there's no ongoing costs. Um, on the back end, this all runs on Linux. Um, uh, as far as where the files get stored, the scripts that run, the archiving that happens, uh, the uh, reports and logs um, that get emailed out, all runs on Linux. So I'm going to take you, this is going to be kind of an introduction to what this solution does. And then we're going to go through step by step. And basically, I'm going to go ahead and build a mini a version of it in my hypervisor and um, let you see how I did it from start to finish. Um, this will probably be quite a few videos because it's a very in-depth solution. It does a lot of different things. Um, and there's a lot of pieces to it. But since I got it all working a couple years ago, it's just been rock solid. And yes, we have had to use it. Um, we had a uh, large uh, data loss. Oh, well, it wasn't really a loss. It was... A, a large recovery that had to be done um, uh, due to crypto locker um, and another one was due to human error myself uh, <laughs> deleting the wrong uh, uh, guest uh, server I, I thought it was a test server and I accidentally deleted the production server so I had to restore that both restores were done in like a half hour relatively quick and easy um, so I know the solution works um, when we were looking for a backup solution, the things that we needed, um, we needed regular, automated, quick backups, and we needed those backups to be able to done while servers were online. Um, and so our more critical servers with more changing data, we needed those to maybe run every hour or every half hour. And other servers maybe just run every night. Um, and we also needed to be able to use the uh, volume snapshot technology so that we don't have to skip open files and all that kind of stuff so that it backs up the entire disk even if people are online using the server. Um, we wanted it to be able to back that stuff up. Um, we needed, to, we needed uh, fast and reliable backup media. We didn't want to mess with tapes. We wanted disk-based backed up or disk-based backup, because um, we want to be able to do fast restores. Um, you know, and tapes, just one too many times, you go to grab that tape, and the data's not there. We want to back up sets um, that were encrypted from end to end. So they're encrypted from the time they leave the agent, the server or workstation, which is what I'll call the agent, to the time they hit the server. And also, you know, it's encrypted on the fly, um, and it's encrypted at rest. So I wanted the backups to be encrypted when they're sitting on the server, when they're sitting on an archived drive, um, an off-site backup. Um, they need to be encrypted from end to end. Um, 
we needed to provide uh, 30 days of backup sets and long-term archival for up to seven years um, for data that needed to be archived that long. Um, we wanted to have uh, cold storage, you know, offline and off-site storage of backup sets. Um, we wanted the ability to be able to restore a complete image of a server um, or just individual files. Uh, we needed the ability to be able to restore just like to known hardware. So this server um, that wasn't a virtual machine crashed um, and we had to put a different brand in its place. We needed the ability to insert the appropriate drivers into the restore process to allow it to see the disk controller and come back up. Um, we didn't want the any like specialized agents or software that's required for databases and database servers and exchange and that kind of stuff. We just wanted to be able to back that stuff up. Um, we wanted to support as many different versions of Windows and operating systems as possible. Uh, my solution will support Linux with no problem and no additional software. And with Drive Snapshot, it supports everything from 2000 through 64 and if you download the old version you can still even back up windows nt and uh, probably 95 98 on the old version too i'm not sure um we also needed the ability for it to work within a hypervisor uh, today that's vmware esxi uh, tomorrow that will be or not tomorrow but soon that will be oracle uh, virtual box um, but we wanted to be able to work within the virtualized environments, restore to them, back them up. Um, we also wanted deduplication of backup sets. So we don't want to have to re-back up the data every single day. Um, so we needed uh, block level deduplication of backup sets. And we have that. Uh, we also needed to do we needed to be cost effective and we needed to be no or limited ongoing support costs. So it had to be something that we can build for a thousand dollars or two thousand dollars. And uh, then it just basically we don't have to pay ongoing costs to use it. Um, I will also say um, we did not want any online or cloud storage of data. Um, I like to keep my data in my hands. I don't like it to, you know, when something goes wrong, I don't want my data sitting halfway across the world on some other server. I want it right there in my hand. And I don't, I also don't have to worry about security that way. I don't have to worry about it getting lost that way. So it makes it a lot easier. I don't have to worry about trying to download it all or waiting for a, a set of DVDs to come overnight. Um, I had to have it run on standard off-the-shelf hardware. I didn't want proprietary appliances or controllers or discs or any of that kind of stuff. I just wanted stuff you could run down to the local computer store and buy. Right? I run down to my local micro center and buy what I need. Um, and I needed it to be integrated, simple to use, and require a minimum amount of time to manage on a daily basis. Um, we reviewed a lot of backup solutions. Um, and we, we couldn't find any one solution um, that could provide all of these options. Each one was lacking. Now, Unitrends was the closest, but with the budget cuts, we simply just could not afford it. Um, so we settled with this. Um, like I said, it's based on the Drive Snapshot program. Um, Drive Snapshot's a small program. It's just one file, which is the drive snapshot.exe. It's like 300K, and it does all the backups and restores. Um, uh, it uh, allows us to not only restore an image, but restore individual files from that image, map the image as a virtual drive. Um, it's relatively inexpensive. You know, it's not free, um, but it's relatively inexpensive. Um, and like I said, if you have the older version, um, it'll go back to NT 4.0 all the way forward to uh, 2008 R2 um, and NPE. Um, so basically, um, it's it just allows you to restore the hard disk data very easily. Uh, uh, you know, it creates disk images. It does it while Windows is running. The same backup is used for the image and 
the like file level backup, so you're not doing two different backup processes. Um, and um, it works well. So what we'll do is we'll kind of go through this. I'm going to build, you know, like a backup server, a little test workstation. Um, I'm going to show you my scripts, and I'll put those out as files so that you can see my sample scripts uh, for how everything gets handled, uh, how I schedule all the different tasks. And um, you can see this in motion. I think this makes a – this is a really good way that you can kind of use Linux on the back end and – provide a really enterprise class level backup solution to your Windows clients. I back up a lot of my workstations as well as servers. Workstations are critical. If something blows up, I don't want to spend all day trying to fix it, rebuild it, reload updates, patches, programs. I just put in a, a boot CD or rip that hard drive out. I restore the data to the drive, put it back in the workstation, or if I'm using a boot CD, it's already in there. And in 20 minutes, everything's back up in the way it was the day before. Um, if there was a few documents they changed on their workstation that they needed, I could copy those off before the restore process happened. But I have all my servers, all my users save things to a network drive, so they shouldn't have anything on their workstation that would be critical in that, you know, it was, you know, it changed right away. Um, so, that's what I'm going to cover. Um, feel free to go out here and kind of read through the uh, drive snapshot. The introduction kind of gives you an idea of what it does. You can download a 30-day trial version and play with it. You can also back up to just a USB connected drive. Anything, any drive letter or share you can point to, you can back your disk up to. Um, you can um, also look at the command line options and you can see that there's just a whole bunch of command line options. This gives us the ability to make a batch file in a Windows environment, schedule that maybe, and we can have it do anything we need it to do each and every night. Um, so it'll be interesting, I think, as I go through this um, uh, with the different videos, you can kind of see what I'm doing. And I hope that this helps someone else out that might be in the same situation that really needs an enterprise class level backup solution to be compliant and just for business continuity and for their own peace of mind. But they're under such tight budget constraints that they can't afford the ones that are out there. And so a lot of us IT guys that work in medium sized companies are running around with like USB drives in our pockets as the backup of the company's data, right? And we want to get away from that. And we want to have something that's rock solid. Because at the end of the day, if something bad happens, we want to keep our jobs. We want to get the data back. We don't want to be in the position of going to our boss and saying, yeah, it's all gone. <laughs> okay? So let me know what you think. And uh, look out for more videos to come. This is Tom with Linux for the Windows guy. Everybody be happy and have fun playing with Linux.